Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today I've come with a topic that's literally hotbed of discussion among health tech developers and providers. Epic integration. Well, I assume Epic EHR systems need no introduction. Its market presence and popularity among hospitals and health centers speaks for Epic. Not only that, Epic's capabilities and features are quite widely recognized in the healthcare industry. Today, Epic is undoubtedly the most preferred solution for data exchange process. Now it's time to hit the main chord and talk about Epic integration. Epic integration simply means connecting Epic's EHR or EMR systems with providers' healthcare software systems. Such linking two systems ensure seamless data flow, which further helps clinicians in decision-making and other operations. Well, the real use cases can make Epic integration concept easier to understand. Take a look at the illustration. You'll see how Epic EHR can integrate with all these health systems. Moving on to another significant part of Epic integration, Epic API. It's essential to understand that API are important for health data exchange, and Epic's API is also integral in promoting interoperability. But have you wondered amidst all this data exchange, where stands the security aspect? Well, in case of Epic, the API follows USCDI guidelines. Doing so, one can be assured of smooth and secure data flow between EHR and other health systems. Having said that, with the support of FHIR, Epic API can exchange data over the web seamlessly. These standards are really crucial for software developers, as it creates scope for integrating Epic with different applications. As a developer, you must, must keep this in mind. Let's see how integration between Health App and Epic EHR system happens, or what steps are involved. Typically, the process involves five steps. First is to check the compatibility that ensures Epic EHR supports the sites from where data will be extracted. Next is registering on uscdi.epic.com to get API key. Then, confirming that the Health App or software has access to essential data needed. The next step is to get the API key and test all endpoints to ensure proper functioning. And the last step is to include API calls in the app's code to finally implement and test. On implementing the Epic integration, providers can finally reap some great benefits. And to name a few, those are quick access to medical records, achieving cost efficiency in extracting data, and scalability that helps practices with large databases. As I mentioned the benefits of integrating Epic EHR and EMR with health apps, you might wonder who will reap these benefits of integration. Well, Epic integration typically benefits different stakeholders in the industry, including doctors, nurses, clinical specialists, and other caregivers too, because the integration helps them in decision-making and improving care delivery. Perhaps another entity who needs this integration is software developers and vendors. Of course they will because it'll bring them clients and offer a competitive edge. Moving on. Epic integration is majorly about data exchange. Let's understand this. Well, data exchange with Epic is again a systemic process. Designing, developing, testing, connecting health apps, and then finally exchanging data. Apart from this process, data exchange with Epic also needs a proper design. Let's understand what parameters data exchange design includes. Firstly, it's types of data exchanges. They can be clinical, financial, registration, and so on. Next is direction of the exchange that means whether the data pushed in or pushed out of Epic. Then comes workflows using this data exchange, which can be clinical, scheduling, reporting, and so on. This is followed by methods of exchange such as FHIR, HL7 version 2 or 3, die command more. And finally, its security mechanisms followed, which are basic authentication, SAML, or OAuth 2.0. That brings to Epic's interoperability aspect. Most users are often curious about Epic's interoperability. Well, Epic interoperability works in three ways. First is Care Everywhere, which directly exchanges information with HIEs. Next is through a PI and web services which offer platforms for messaging and extensions for web services. The last being standard point-to-point -point interfaces, 
which allows connectivity with other vendors and external groups. Now I've touched upon almost every crucial aspect of EPIC integration, except two. What data can be obtained from EPIC and what's needed to build a healthcare app with EPIC integration. So let's look at them individually. First, I'll focus on what data can be obtained from EPIC. You must know in integrating EPIC EHR using FHIR standards. Some data sets are only free, while others will cost you. So the question is what data is free? Well, data that are categorized as vitals, lab test results, diagnostic reports, notes by clinicians, prescribed medication lists, information on implantable medical devices, treatment procedures, patient demographics, allergies, immunization and patient conditions. All these data are free. Now let's see the second aspect of EPIC EHR implementation. What's needed to build a healthcare app with EPIC integration? Typically, three components are needed. Number one, a server needed to be set up to host the health app. Number two, connecting the health app with EPIC through FHIR API for secured access and pulling of data from EPIC. And number three, registering the app with EPIC, that is by getting a developer account from EPIC's App Orchard. And that brings us to the end of today's discussion. Do you need help with integration? We at OSP have the capability of integrating EPIC EHR into your existing systems. We can also guide you through the integration and implementation process. Do check our website www.ospilabs.com to get more details on EPIC integration. Stay tuned for more.